I am return. Okay. Duck Hunt and Ike can make okay, make it starting off strong. Or more starting off firm. Because he's he's just not not taking any of this shenanigans that Zane wanted to do, yet the shenanigans ensue anyway, if you're in Ike's perspective. If you're in Zane's perspective, oh man, you're, you're a big fan of these shenanigans. <laughs> uh, definitely. <laughs> Just throwing out that up to me. It's like it's harder to when you play against a character like Pikachu. Despite the frame advantage that Pikachu always seems to be in, you always know that he's gonna try and be somewhere within your vicinity as Ike. It's a lot like he has a short range, so he's gonna try and get in. But Duck Hunt doesn't need to do that, and Zane knows that. So you kind of have to risk a little bit more if you're in that kind of frame of mind where you're trying to see like what he's going to do, how close he's going to get. That's a great tech. Oh, that's and, and the great coverage from Zane on that tech. Yes, yeah, something we didn't see uh, much of from Mouse Rat is just trying to stop the, the quick draw to ledge and cover that more so than the quick draw back to stage. Yeah, I expect a lot of dash attack from Mega on his part because if you dash attack that can, it, it's, it's weird. Sometimes it'll trade, or the, the can will actually fly directly into Duck Hunt. So he'll do a dash attack, and then that dash attack will actually combo into the can, and it does loads of damage. Okay, and up be facing the uh, right blast zone. Could have been risky, but good DI coming out from Zane. This is playing a whole lot different from their winner set. Alright, hey. nice up B coming out again. Alright, good coverage gun to get him off the ledge. Uh, Zane is kind of pushed, seems to be pushed into the corner a whole lot more. Mega either coming off of a, with a bit of momentum coming from losers, or he just seems more prepared to play against Duck Hunt, more willing to be more aggro and push the initiative, and he gets his envelope opened. There and finds himself with a stock lead. Yeah, and it, it, it makes me wonder, like, how is Zane gonna deal with all this pressure? Because you, you look at Mega, he kind of just doesn't care. He's just going for these dash attacks, he's going for these forwarders. Like, he just doesn't care about what projectile Zane puts out. Ooh, okay, the barely missing that F smash. And you're totally right, like, he's. While he is getting punished for all of this, and he is getting, uh, like he is suffering for uh, many of his raw approaches, it's not stopping him or deterring him from taking the space that he's allowed, and then some. Like Zane, they're playing this really smart, and they're playing this, uh, they're trying to play this like they were, where he's keeping, uh, keeping Mega on his back foot, trying to stay underneath him, but. When Mega takes space, he takes it with a determination, and he hasn't been getting caught by as many of these combos! <laughs> oh, shit. That... All right. I, I don't... Hold on, let me, let me take a sip. Hold on. Yeah, that's worth a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read on the roll. Okay, nice up there. Oh, was that down air? Did he try to go for down air? <laughs> he went for down air. Why? <laughs> of all things. <laughs> I guess props to Zane for knowing it. Like, they called out that aggressive option with with the duck. And, whew. you know, if there was a way to bring it back, Clay Pigeon was the way to do it. And, you know, oh, man, on, wow. honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I, I, I think Mega just threw that. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. He, I, I, I don't get it. Like, why would you throw out such a bad option? And you're in the upper blast zone? Why? I guess, like, maybe he didn't expect the, the duck to reach that far. So he was looking for that 
looking for that DP as a form of uh, aggressive resetting. Like, uh, he was aggro the entire game, and he got so much off of it with these jump forwards, hold shield, these dash forward, like, uh, dash forward down tilts and these dash attacks. Like, he was taking space in a really authoritative manner. But when Zane got his opening, they took it, got their opening, they took it for as long as it, they could, and then some. Mm. And now it's 1-0 in his favor, so Mega has to play from behind the eight ball. And there's only so much, who, who knows how much that does to your, the momentum that you were playing with and that swagger when a game slips through your fingers. Yeah, definitely. But we're gonna run it back, back to PS2. We're gonna see what Mega does differently because you noticed before he was just throwing out a lot of dash attacks that were for, for the most part they were working because they, they went through can they went through pigeon um so he was doing a good job there um but what i really want to see is the option coverage on ledge like right here going for these tilts but also going for the fair off stage just to put some fear into zane because we know that once Ike gets an air, he can get early roar back air kills, or sometimes even up the. Oh, throwing him right into that can, setting up for another vertical showdown that he's got a good track record on. Oh, definitely. We've seen many of those, many of those showdowns, and they've always done really well for Zane. And look at that up there, getting that stock. It's a consistent form of killing, at least for Duck Hunt, and for a character that doesn't have much uh, consistent kill options, or consistent raw kill options, but the plenty of damage off of all of these setups, 108 in the blink of an eye, is he... No, 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 he's not. He's fine. Yeah. Oh, he's not fine anymore? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's, he's gone now. Old Yeller is out to pasture. Oh, God, I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like it's it's so awful because Zane's winning. <laughs> Look at all these up airs coming out. Like, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, interrupting that up B. No that, chance. Nice, nice catch in the recovery, getting that kill. Um, yeah. Okay, that was okay. Um, the up B, but it didn't really help because he still took all the percent. You, so much like you have to weigh so much against Duck Hunt since as we've been as been proven like Zane knows their combo routes and he knows that he, they know how to optimize damage uh, to to the fullest extent so weighing your risk reward and knowing uh, how to utilize Ike's weight to the fullest is going to be super crucial as it gets a falling up air <laughs> run off air and didn't see it Guess he was worried about the can. You know, 57, you know, Duck Hunt's not the heaviest, but he, the nice condition in the shield, knowing he can just run up grab. Alright, ooh, nice to up the out of shield. Oh, I love that. He, instead of going for the final hit, he grabs the ledge to see if he could get any sort of follow up. Not managing it, and suddenly the percents are looking kind of dangerous for Zane. We're gonna need to pull out something strong. Perhaps look for another up air read. That shield is getting really low. The gunman shield pokes. Ooh. All right, coming back to the ledge. Let's see what he does to recover. He's just waiting. <laughs> oh. He's waiting. Wow. Waiting for the perfect opportunity for that up B. He almost died. Can you get him? Good roll through, coming out from Mega, seeing the read. Yeah, it is. Looks like Mega went for a dash attack on uh, his, uh, on another one of his roll throughs, and he'd been getting a lot of those uh, roll through the projectiles pretty often, uh, rolling through and getting some sort of F tilt, like rolling through and uh, getting out of danger. And great disguise coming out from Zane. Uh, tricking him into thinking that he was gonna hard commit to the roll, the tech away or the roll away. And once he missed that, then he then he set up his space and made sure Can was in the right spot to cover his blind side and to utilize for the kill. 
We saw these beautiful upbeats coming from Mega, but it just didn't seem to help him out in that last stock. Every time he went for it, it just wouldn't kill. And then eventually, you know, it was inevitable. He ended up getting hit by the can, losing yet another game on PS2. I'm curious to know if he's still going to go back to PS2. I wouldn't blame him, because it's been close each time. Um, but at the same time, I wonder, is he going to experiment with another stage? I mean, Maybe not so much. You kind of have to consider, like, what are Ike's best stages, right? Battlefield, <laughs> Smashville, and probably PS2, given it's a pretty solid pl platform layout. If Zane, like, if their bands are Battlefield and, P and Smashville, like, PS2 is the one that's remaining. I didn't see it. Yeah, and here we go. Mm. I'm, would, I would be willing to bet if the bands are Battlefield and Smashville. But this... this you know, Mega's not trying to repeat history here. He's been, he's tasted victory twice over, both in, having the lead in game one and in game two, like mounting a very strong comeback. So it's only, he seems close. He seems ready, but now he's got three games to contend with. And that's a start. <laughs> that was such a clutch upper. I, I wonder if he buffered bad DI. It seemed like he was like drifting with like the up towards stage. Curious. Just some way to get uh, get over stage to not have to worry about landing with any sort of duck cunt uh, up B. All these air so, dodge reads. That was so brutal. Like he, he not only read the air dodge, he killed the gunman in the process. Nothing nothing stays away from Ike's blade and he is out for Oh man, he didn't time it right. He's out for blood. <laughs> so you look for the blood. two things. Blood, there it is. <laughs> now you kind of put Zane in a rough spot. Like they have to, they have to now push the initiative a whole lot more. They gotta, they gotta find these kills quick, and Ike can start using his heavy weight. Uh, and Mega doesn't have to worry about like ev every single interaction meaning leading towards a uh, like mattering so much in terms of the flow of the game now the flow of the game is entirely in his favor he just has to take advantage of that yeah, and i and i this is something that i'm starting to notice he's doing a lot more uh full hops but also a lot more like full hop double jumps i think that's really throwing zane off with his for dark pals who will put out a gunman and then he'll actually miss time the gunman because Mega will just proceed to do a double jump. And uh, that's really good, because then he can just do another falling nair and then get his typical like nair to upper, nair to fair conversions. So just doing a really good job. And right there, full hopping and killing the gunman once again. Uh, he, that was insane coverage. Getting the, uh, covering the ledge for air dodge, but still landing on stage to hit any sort of neutral getup or getting back just right through him. Alright, got a bunch of up airs coming through from Zane. Can he, can he manage to take this stock? Because if he can take this and not take too much more damage, like, oh. right like that, uh, Zane, Zane's looking not bad. Like, their, their combo game has been potent. Like, 0 to 80s, or at the very least, 0 to 60s have been on the table with them before. But... Duck Hunt can only do so much when he's put into the corner like that, and nice, nice. very well placed back here. Yeah, you know, honestly, Zane was doing like a decent job near the end. Like they were putting out a lot of good uh, cans, like they were being placed pretty well. And I think, yeah, right here he uh, they kind of drift in a little bit too much there. Start up a B, it looks like. Yeah, he's trying to go so. over it, but Ike Sword. Oh, hey. Yeah. hey. One frame makes all the difference. And oh, a couple, wow. A, a couple frames earlier, and that up B soars high, and, you know, Duck Hunt may be able to land with something like Nair, like he tried to there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> two high recoveries, two brutal punishes coming out from uh, Mega. Yeah, I think if they air dodge just a tad bit later it would have worked fine but you know what honestly they were doing a good job um zane was slowly making a comeback uh they just have to keep the momentum for this next game 
one. It's it's uh, Mega's first win on Zayn this bracket. I don't know their total set history, but a 3-0 in winners and a 2-0, a, a really nail-biting 2-0. Game three can easily slip through, your, like slip away, and be even worse just because of how you've lost a couple of these games. But Mega kept control early and stayed with it to get that JV two stock. It's now it is in Zane's court. Now they have to respond to his aggression, to his energy. And if there's anything to know about Zane, that he then they are very, very capable of it, uh, and they've shown it throughout this bracket so there's no there's no need to no need to let one win go to uh, or one loss for Zane go to your head play your game and everything will work out yeah Zane uh, two games was doing a really good job on I think game three was really interesting I don't know they, they, they were doing a really good job near the end and then I felt that because Mega had such an early lead, it was almost near impossible to kind of come back from that. So I'm curious to know that now that Zane is on their counter pick, how it will work out. I think it should work out fine. I think they should be able to have pretty good advantage. You can see it clearly. Yeah. Oh, covering the air dodge with Can as he sets up center stage. Being able to be in two places at once is not something many characters can do. And Zane is working this Can and these gunmen like how Rosalina works with Luma. Like it's almost like a puppet esque kind of aspect to so many of these tools. And yeah, it's gotten him. To, it's gotten them to to losers finals and winners finals. So. Powerful, powerful, uh, powerful gameplay coming out from Zane. They're just doing a really good job of just covering that edge. Like, I feel like Zane is just so good at keeping Mega off stage when he's not able to get those side view covers. Oh, that, that Yelp was so sad. Uh, <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> but I love how Zane was playing that first stock prior down one. Yo, Ike just doesn't have enough range. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that's the first down air kill I've seen. Oh, that's a statement nonetheless. After so much like, coverage coming out from Zane early in stock one, losing stock two a little, losing your first stock a little bit early to a aggressive up air is a little bit rough. And all of this damage is certainly something you don't want to take, but with such a convincing stock lead or a stock lead taken in such a convincing fashion you've got a lot to work with uh, and Zane knows how to use every tool in his in, well Duck Hunt doesn't have, really have pockets but <laughs> oh god <laughs> um okay you know what's funny I was originally going to comment on that wonky F tilt on the can but then he just decided to put out a down air and now I, I can't even predict I guess what I did next Suddenly, this game got a whole lot more even. And now, if you're Zane, you're a little bit more worried. And if you're uh, if you're Mega, you're pumped. You're ecstatic. You got you potentially got all you need to get back into this game. As you see, an air dodge high, not learning from or learning from past mistakes. And you've been in this situation before. Oh no. I thought he was going to go for it. I thought he was going to get that up the spike. Me too. I thought he was going to go for the SD, which would have been uh, risky, but... Yeah, it's probably way too risky than you needed to go for. You got this forward air. You got these ledge traps. Uh, once again, just destroying that gunman. Can on his face. The dash attack came out, but... Zane was looking, they they looked like they were looking for some sort of spot dodge or jump. Mm. There it is, mm. yeah. Beautiful a, kill confirm. Very nice, he... I don't even... Like, so much, like, so much of Zane's gameplay, some, like, they... They look like they play... They place their gunman and their can and their pigeon, like, chess pieces on a board. 
and mm. like right there was check, and that was me. Me. Hey. Oh. Ooh, they did a really good wow. job there. They did the gunman. Okay, they did four throw into gunman, and then mega held shields so that just left mega open for another punish. Holding shield is simultaneously something incredible and terrible against so many of uh, uh, so many like zoners and trappers because you're protected from all of their like all of their setups but then you get grabbed and so many like what the biggest what could be the biggest buff to so many zoners and trappers in uh, ultimate is that they gave them close quarter setup as so that was a great down air to uh, to catch the two frame or even just bo hit below the ledge and uh, bring uh, uh, Mega back into this game, but unfortunately, too, unfortunately, the uh, Zane got off on a hot start on that last stock and able, was able to close it out and fight his way to the rematch with C. Caleb. Potentially another long one. <laughs>